Amazon uh, Web Services has about 10 different services, and I talked about three of them today. The Elastic Compute Cloud, the Simple Storage Service, and Mechanical Turk. And all of these services allow you to uh, do, uh, to kind of have variable cost ways of doing things that would have been very expensive to do at large scale. So the, the goal is to make it easier for people to build web scale applications without having to worry about all of the kind of nuts and bolts of, uh, of scaling that uh, make it very difficult to go from your idea to a successful product. So, uh, so m most of the work that we do inside Amazon, if you think about Amazon.com as a web scale application, uh, one of the, we, we, we get to spend about 30% of our time working on time, energy, and dollars, working on our ideas. And we have to spend about 70% of our time working on this undifferentiated heavy lifting. It's things like data centers and uh, s server deployments, uh, 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 scheduling, bringing in new servers, dealing with heterogeneous hardware issues, Issues, uh, load balancing, routers, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and all of that stuff has to be done at the highest quality level. But it's really just a price of admission. It doesn't differentiate your service. It doesn't make your customers' lives any better. Uh, it can only hurt you if you do it poorly. But it can't help you. Uh, and so, what we're doing with this suite of infrastructure web services at Amazon Web Services is making it uh, possible for people to spend more of their time working on their ideas. Uh, and less of their time working on the kind of nuts and bolts of scaling uh, 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 web infrastructure. S3 is a very uh, simple web service seen from the developer's point of view. Uh, it has the kind of uh, web APIs that it exposes are things like put, get, and delete. So you have uh, 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 you give us a blob of data via web service call and you give us a handle to that data. We remember the data and we remember the handle. When you want that data back, you give us the handle and we give you the data back. It really is that simple. On the back end, it's a very comp complex piece of infrastructure software that we've built. It stores your data multiple times in multiple data centers. It doesn't acknowledge receipt of the data until it's been stored multiple times. So it's a very highly available, uh, ver very reliable data store that you can do fundamental persistence with. And you can do that persistence in the cloud. And because you never have to worry about running out of capacity, you, there's a whole set of administrative tasks that you no longer have to worry about. I think that's one of the things that really excites people about Amazon S3.